Hey everybody, today I have been wanting to make an angel food cake and I looked at a lot of recipes y'all and they are so complicated and it takes so many eggs and whites and all this stuff. I'm like, I'm just buying this box. I've had this before, it tastes great and all you add is water to it, so it's simple. One of y'all sent me a square pan. I was looking at a square pan at the thrift store and I just noticed this is actually a mini square pan. So the batter is not all gonna fit in here. So I'm gonna have, I have another pan from the lodge store. This is a small loaf pan. So what don't fit in here, I'm gonna put in this and we're just gonna bake two things today and just see how they turn out. Uh, I think I've made one of these in a bunk pan before and I have a bunk pan but I wanted to try this loaf pan so that's what we're going to do today so to start with you're going to this is a Betty Crocker angel food cake mix so we're going to put this in a mixing bowl and all you add to this is one and one third cups of water and I have that right here and we're going to beat it at a low speed for 30 seconds and then a medium speed for about a minute and that's basically it y'all let me get this thing turned on well there we go I don't know how much is a minute, but we'll just keep going here for what I think is a minute. Looks like the batter's getting bigger. All right, here we go, y'all. It's probably been about a minute. What do you think? y'all that shot right out of there i'm gonna stick that right over there in that cup stick that one right there whoa 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 i'm dangerous with that y'all all right now it said don't grease the pan pour it into your cake pan without greasing it so i'm only going to put about halfway up of this because it, it might overflow with this. This is actually called a mini one. And I didn't realize that or I wouldn't even attempt it to use it, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And we're gonna put the rest right in this pan. Maybe put a little bit more in this pan. I don't know how much this is gonna bake up because I haven't done it in this pan before. All right, so we're gonna do it in these two pans. We're gonna do one loaf pan and one of this mini square pan. All right, I'm gonna stick them in the oven at 325. All right, they've been in the oven for about 35 minutes, so let's take them out and see what we have here. Here's the one in the loaf pan, and it says to uh, cool the angel food cake 
you're supposed to rest it. If it's in a loaf pan, rest it on its side. So we're going to put that one up like that and just let it sit like that to cool. All right, and here's the little one that's in the square pan. And it says it fits in a square pan to lift this upside down onto a pop bottle. But I do not have a pop bottle, y'all. So the only thing I have that might work is this thing with a little, it's a candle, but it's got a little thing, a knob sticking up on it. So we're going to try this, y'all. And I'm going to hang this upside down. On that little knob, I think. Whoop, nope, that knob's too big. Well, I'm gonna have to find something else to hang this on. It might have to hang on a, a knife or something. Maybe it can hang on a pair of scissors, you know, because the scissors can go into the thing. That's what we'll have to do. All right, hang on, let me get something I can put these scissors down in. All right, we're gonna try this. I got a cup, I got my scissors, and I'm gonna take them apart, put them down in there, and let's see if this is gonna work. Where's my mittens? I don't know if this is gonna work. I gotta get something that's stable, y'all. Oh no, that's gonna squeeze, that's gonna squeeze the cake. That ain't gonna work either. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I'm gonna try to find something in my kitchen to hang this upside down on, hang on. All right, very carefully, I got it sitting on a Mountain Dew bottle. <laughs> Let's see if this works. I'm going to leave it. It doesn't say. It just says until it's cool. So we're going to leave it like that and not breathe and see how it, it works. All right. It's, uh, it's cooled off. So I'm taking a butter knife and just going to run it around the outside of it. And let's see if it's going to come up out of here or not. I don't, I don't, well, I guess you have to do this. This inside too. There we have it. This has the bottom that pulls right up out of there. So there you have it. I'm just going to stick it right back in there for a minute. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Pull this right up out of here. This one's still a little warm because it's in the cast iron. All right. This one's still a little warm, but I hurried it along. Now, it didn't come out as clean because this is, a, this is the first time I've used this cast iron. So it's stuck just a little bit to the bottom, but mm, it's good, y'all. <laughs> mm, 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 very good.